What does the Bible say about fear and anxiety? Well, we know that 2 Timothy 1 verse 7 says. God didn't give you a spirit of fear. It says for God did not give us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound judgment. This means a personal discipline of abilities that result in a calm, well-balanced mind and self-control. Fear is a spirit. So therefore we have to continue to fight and pray against the spirit of fear and anxiety because God did not give it to us. The Bible talks about not having fear a lot in the Bible. As a matter of fact, do not fear is mentioned in the Bible 365 times. So God knew the spirit of fear is a spirit that he did not want us to have and have constantly reminds us to not do so. Anxiety often arises from the anticipation of future uncertainties, while fear is a response to imminent threats. These emotions, when left unchecked, can have profound effects on our mental, emotional, and physical well-being. Persistent anxiety and fear can lead to stress, sleep disturbances, and even physical health issues. The constant worry and unease can erode the quality of our daily lives, hindering relationships, work performance, and overall happiness. In the midst of these challenges, seeking solace in faith and turning to the wisdom of the Bible can provide a source of strength and comfort. Prayer becomes a powerful tool in navigating the storm of anxiety and fear. It offers a channel to express our concerns, fears, and uncertainties to a higher power. The Bible, filled with verses addressing these very struggles, provides guidance and reassurance. Let us pray and then I will provide you with Bible verses to help you overcome fear and anxiety. Say these Bible verses daily and when you are feeling fearful or anxiety. Remind yourself of what God says about fear and anxiety. This video is a good reference to come to when you are feeling fear or anxiety. Heavenly Father, we come before you with a heart heavy with our burdens of fear and anxiety. Your word reminds us that we can cast all our anxieties on you because you care for me. So, in this moment, we release the weight of our fears into your loving and capable hands. Lord, we confess. We confess our worries about the future, uncertainties that loom before us. We confess our fears of inadequacy and failure that may grip our mind. We confess the anxiety that steals our peace and disrupts our sleep. In the name of Jesus. We rebuke. We rebuke the spirit of fear that seeks to paralyze our faith. We rebuke the lies that tell us, we are alone in our struggles. We rebuke the power of anxiety that attempts to overshadow our promises. Fill us with your peace. Replace our fears with your perfect peace that surpasses all understanding. Let the assurance of your presence dispel every shadow of doubt. Help us to trust that your plans for us are good, plans to give us hope and a future. In Jeremiah 29 verse 11. Grant us strength and courage. Equip us with strength in moments of weakness. Let us find courage in the knowledge that you go before us, and you are our rear guard. May the truth of your word be a shield against the arrows of anxiety. Renew our mind. Transform our thoughts, Lord. Replace fear with faith, doubt with trust, and worry with confidence in your unfailing love. Romans 12 verse 2 Help us to rest in you. Teach us to rest in your promises. As we surrender our fears, replace them with the rest that comes from knowing you are in control. We declare. We declare that we are more than a conqueror through him who loves us. Romans 8 verse 37, Fear has no power over us, 
for you, O Lord, are with us. Which is Psalm 23 verse 4. Thank you, Father, for hearing our prayer. We trust in your love and mercy. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Now here are Bible verses to say daily over yourself when feeling fear or anxiety. 1 Peter 5 verse 7 Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. Psalm 56 verse 3 When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. Philippians 4 verses 6 to 7 Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Isaiah 41 verse 10 So do not fear, for I am with you, do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you, I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Psalm 34 verse 4 I sought the Lord, and He answered me, He delivered me from all my fears. Matthew 6 verse 34 Therefore do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. John 14 verse 27 Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6 Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him, and he will make your path straight. Second Timothy 1 verse 7 For the Spirit God gave us does not make us timid, but gives us power, love and self-discipline. Matthew 11 verse 28 Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Psalm 55 verse 22 Cast your cares on the Lord and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous be shaken. Deuteronomy 31 verse 6 Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them, for the Lord your God goes with you, He will never leave you nor forsake you.
Psalm 118 verse 6 The Lord is with me, I will not be afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? Psalm 46 verses 1 to 2 God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea. Romans 8 verses 38 to 39 for I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels or demons, neither the present or the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation, will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Psalm 23 verse 4 even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Psalm 27 verse 1 The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life, of whom shall I be afraid? May this prayer and Bible verses help give you peace of God and rest. Remember to cast all your cares on Him. He will take care of it. Be blessed. Amen.